So everyone, this is Dumbest Live, and welcome to Dumbest Live News. Hope you guys are doing great. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. This is what I do, man. I do this stuff daily, and let's get this started, man. Drake is up to his old tricks once again. He baited Meek Mill at a show the other day, but we'll talk about that later in the video. Let me take you guys back of how the drama started. Now, I'm not going to go too far back, but what I will say is this. Meek Mill decided to tweet out and confront Drake about him having ghostwriters. Then Drake dropped back to back and Meek Mill went from tweeting every day to tweeting every few months. Trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers. Now, as you guys know, this summer 16 tour, Drake has been getting himself into some crazy situations. He's been beefing with Funkmaster Flex. He's been beefing with Hot 97. He beefed with Ebro. Somehow, an imaginary beef between him and Eminem happened. And all of this stuff just sparks more money for Drake. Drama and hip hop equals more money. Guess what Drake decided to do a day before he is set to perform in Philly, the hometown of Meek Mill. In DC, I believe it was DC, a day before Philly, he performed Back to Back, which is a Grammy Award nominated song, diss track, towards Meek Mill, and he changed the words. Now, this is what he said. So if you didn't catch that, what he said in his video was this. I did another one. I did another one. You pussy still ain't did shit about the other one. So he basically called Meek Mill a pussy. And you guys are probably saying, Tom, like, isn't that what he said on the song? The actual lyrics, he doesn't say that. He says, you still ain't did shit about the other one. Now, you guys may be saying, Dom, you're reaching on this one. And I'm going to tell you right now, Drake is a lot more calculated. Drake is a lot smarter than what you guys think. But what I'm saying is, for him to change those lyrics a day before he performs in Meek Mill's hometown, you know that Drake knows he's safe. And not only that, He's going to bring out someone that Meek Mill hates. It's what's going to happen, man. Now, if he's saying this right here, that lets me know when he goes to Philly, he's going to be bringing out someone that is a enemy of Meek Mill. Most likely, he's going to bring out A.R. Ab or someone like that. Now, you guys may not know who A.R. Ab is, but A.R. Ab is also someone that he shouted out on a song who had beef with Meek Mill. Now, A.R. Ab's crew and Meek Mill's crew have been beefing with each other for a very long time. I mean, now things have gotten pretty crazy between these two groups. Now, if you guys don't believe me, here's video of A.R. Ab kicking someone's car. People have gotten beat up. People have gotten shot. A.R. Ab's crew is not a crew that you want to mess with. I think this dude has been shot like more than 10 times. So, yeah, it's crazy stuff that goes on, man. He's going to bring out someone that Meek Mill hates. It's what's going to happen, man. Now, I predict that Drake is most likely going to be booed. He's going to be booed in Philly. There's going to be people that's going to show up, but you can't go to Philly and diss Meek Mill. Or can he? We're going to find out. We're going to find out if Drake is really untouchable. If Drake goes to Philly and they don't boo him when he performs back to back, the dude is untouchable. How can you go to someone's hometown and diss them? Meek Mill is the number one rapper in Philly. The fans are going to a rap concert. If he goes to Philly once again and he performs back to back and he's not booed, you can't touch the guy. He's untouchable. Now, from a physical sense, you can't touch Drake anyway because the dude has like a thousand bodyguards. Like you're not going to penetrate his armor because you got to get through the thousand bodyguards just to get him. So at this point, Drake can say whatever he wants to say. He's never going to get caught slipping because the guy moves around like he's the president. And that's no joke. Anyway, this is Dumb as Live. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching this video. I can't wait to see what's going to happen tonight when he performs in Philly. I mean, I don't know if there's going to be riots. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to find out, man. We're going to see if things are going to be peaceful.